All right, folks. I don't know how much of this is uh, clearly visible, but it's been a while since Don and I have had to launch from the beach in Yankee Town. It is super low tide. Usually where I'm standing right now is water. Super duper low tide. But this is the day we can fish, so we're gonna come out here and go fishing. We're gonna have to take the long way around. You're gonna see a lot of rocks and stuff today where normally you wouldn't see them at all. We're gonna go here and get unhooked. See what's up next. Okay, now normally we can't see any of these rocks. As you can see, it's pretty low. Now even the crab traps, I don't know if, you can, if it's too far away for you to see, but even the crab traps are sitting out of the water, super low. We're here at the end of the uh, little chain of islands off the Yankee Town boat ramp. As you can see from our feathered friends, they are standing in what appears to be water, but is not. It's just a sandbar just underneath the water line. We're gonna have to paddle out a little bit of distance here, some distance to find a cut over to get to, get to our spot. Here they come. All right, we're off. Open water. We got about a mile and a half to go. Beautiful day, beautiful weather, even if you don't catch anything. This is a great place to be. Should come out here and enjoy Yankee Town. Great fishing spot. The one thing that Don and I like about this spot is that fish don't really tend to hold up here. This seems to be a place that they travel by and they run this sandbar or this oyster bar and uh, during certain tides they just come through and as they're coming through we present the bait to them they pick it up we've caught probably i think we've counted up to 14 different species of fish off just this point uh, everything from triple tail snappers pompano snook redfish trout we've caught we've caught them all here sharks catfish spanish mackerel uh, even some snappers, some little mangrove snappers and stuff. Flounder. So that's one benefit I really like about salt water is that unlike a lake where you have to find where the fish hang out, in salt water you don't have to worry about sharing your spots really with people uh, as far as taking the fish because the fish come in from the ocean and this is just a spot that they congregate to. As long as there's fish they're going to be coming by here. There we go. Yep. Didn't take long. Live shrimp. Trout. 
Two. Nah, this one's a little short. Hold on there, bro. Brother. Hold on there. All right, not bad little trout. Here you go. Come here. Come here, little fella. A little trout, fella. A little, little trouter. I gotta see if them go for it. Well, that's what I was gonna do too. Did you bring yours over? All right, people, first cast. Let's see how we do. Oh, let me get the net. So I'm an optimist. Donald just dragged his monsters up on shore. <laughs> All right. Normally we fish on this spot with live bait, but we're doing a little experiment. Good friend Justin Whaley, go check him out on his YouTube channel. He told me this rig right here. And uh, we're gonna give it a shot. He says it works really good out here. So we just gotta find a little little spot. Give it a chuck a -rooney. You can throw it as hard as you want because it's artificial. I like that. Check my drag. First cast of the day. I thought I'd put it on film here for you. Artificial bait, you got to keep moving a little more. Okay, so we are using about 24 inch liter, quarter ounce jig head with a four out hook, uh, pearl white gulp with a chartreuse tail, and of course the head is chartreuse on popping cork. And that's what seems to work real good out here in Yanktown on the flats. As you can see, the, we have live bait as well, but we haven't even had to use it. There's Don hooked up again. We're just killing them with these gulp. And there's plenty of advantages to using a gulp over live bait. Except for the smell, I hate the smell, but fish like it, so I'm good. Keeper? There goes mine. Oh, got him. He's small. Feels small. Oh, he's starting to pull a little bit now. Yeah, he's too small. He's too small. There we go. I like trying to unhook them without touching them as much as I can. He's he's a, he's scrappy. He's scrappy. He's oh hey wait a minute now he's close. He's gonna be on the limit. I bet he's like 14 and a half. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dandy lip and lipper cut. 14. 14. Gotta go back. It's all right. 14. Go you tell your friends there's some nice stuff out here. All right, we're gonna try and see if this gulp works now that we know that they're they're biting out here. Right there, I've been getting bites. 
they've had a couple shrimp out there so maybe they'll oh they did take it under Yep, got him. Uh, can't tell. It's it's a, it feels a little like a little one, but I'll take it. You know. Hold on. Yeah. Might be. Won't be able to live it. I bet he's like 14 and a half. <laughs> Must have been some cigaweed. Oh. Alright, we're throwing the gold back. Yeah, look, he's a he's just a little one. Oh, got one right? oh yeah. They're here because they are hammering them. Nice little one. Oh, he looks like he's a bit closer. <laughs> that looks like it's close. a lot. Uh oh, he might be uh uh no nah, he's too small. I see you look at that one right there. He's a he's purdy. Another little one. Oh. All right, so he came off by himself. So that's good. All right, we're throwing the gulp out. Oh, you got one, all right. Mine's going under. Oh. But I can leave it out there because it's gulp. Yeah. Yep, I got one already. Yep, trout. See his yellow mouth. Skiing him in. Ed, this one might be close. We just got to get the bigger ones to come on. These are all 12 to 14. See? Another. Oh shit, yeah. This is at least five or six for me. People, nice another little. That's a good sign for the future. We're, uh, we're gonna let you keep running here. And, uh, get you. Get, get you out here a little more. Right there on the edge. Oh, shit. He didn't even. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even get a chance to pop it. That was all on video. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
You don't want to see me catching fish? Oh. I got gotcha. you. People, there he is. Oh, he's a little one. I'm here, little guy. No. There he is, people. Give a little pop. Come on, take it. There we go. Oh, nope. Missed him. Came loose. Which, uh, which, which uh, sinker or which head, jig head are you using? I'm not. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm a quarter, one quarter ounce. Okay. Quarter ounce jig head. You're using the bigger one, not the one. I'm using the bigger one. I was trying to. That's what I got. Oh, that way I can get out a little further. There he goes. Man, it's going under, but they're not. There we go. That's a solid hookup. Well, this one's got some weight. Finally. Yep. Bigger splash, too. Pots oh, keeper. <laughs> First keeper. He's going home. That's one. There you go. All right, let me get out there. Give it a little pop. Ring the dinner bell. Give a fish call. Here, fishy, fishy. Give a little fish call. Now they know to come. Yeah, they're a little deeper. But I, can, I feel like I can get out there with this setup. Oh, yeah. I can sling it. There it goes. Ah, oh, I missed him. But I know I still have my shrimp on. My gulp. I'll let it sit there for a second and see if he comes back for it. Could. Never know. Sometimes they do. Here, fishy, fishy. Yep. Oh, that's a better fish. This one has weight on it. And a, diff a bigger wake. This might be another keeper. Oh, yeah. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. It's another 16. See? It was worth, instead of reeling it in, it was worth waiting. All right, this one, this one's closer to 16 inch, folks. He's going home. We can keep five each, five per person. So. We can keep up the 10 with the two of us out here today. That's what we're gonna do, if we can get that high. One thing we really like about this spot is that you can tell when the tide changes. In this particular area, the, the water collides right in front of us off the sandbar. And you can see, actually visually see the tide and tell when it's moving and in what direction. So, it's a, it's a nice place to fish and it gives us a lot of opportunities and a lot of options as far as where to throw a bait. No. He's just little. 
Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Here, you want me to catch him again? <laughs> Not a keeper. <laughs> No, he's not. He's only 12. Is that a keeper? He might be a keeper. That is a keeper, Tom. Here, put him. Oh, you better net him. I was just getting ready to say, get the net. Oh, you might be able to keep your shrimp. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Denied shrimp access. There he goes. There he goes, peoples. Yep. Uh oh. Do a little rowdy. How feisty he is. Damn, dude, be so feisty. So we have had quite a day today fishing here. Don and I have had quite a day today fishing out here. Um, tide came in, swallowed up our island. We stayed on top of the island till it got about three foot deep and we got back in our boat. And uh, been sitting here fishing a little bit. We've been catching fish all day. Uh, right now we're at slack tide not much happening but might turn back on here in a minute my other GoPro is out of battery so I didn't get all the fish we probably caught 20 fish that aren't on film uh, but it's been good They've, most of them have been 13 to 14 and a half inches the trout we've just been catching trout today and uh, we have five keepers in the bag to take home but other than that, uh, we've just been out here enjoying this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful day and uh, enjoying the time outside and fishing. And it's been good. It's been fun. So now that I'm back in the boat, I have this camera up and running. And uh, we will continue a little bit of film. And maybe the bite turns back on. I'll have some more fish to show you. Good looking, he's a good looking fella. Yeah. I think he's of size. I think he's a little bit of tiny. Ah. I think he's probably like a 14 inch. Under for a while. He's a good looking, he's a good looking fella. I think he's a little bit of tiny. I think he's probably like a 14 incher. Nope, just a little shy. I had to lay him down. He was like 14 and a half. Oh, oh there he is. Yeah, people. Little trout. What? Got a little trout. You let yourself off for me. Yeah. I'm talking to the trout. Come on, <laughs> Real, real. Right. Little guy. Uh, try to keep you in the water. Hold on. Trying to be gentle about this. Gentle, loving, even 
loving. Even loving. All right. <laughs> Another little one. Well, we're going to pack it in. We had a really good day. We caught a lot of fish. I don't know if we're going to put them all on the video. There were so many. It would just kind of be boring. It's uh, sea trout over and over again. But uh, I'm going to try to include any little comments and stuff that we had or uh, little pointers I was trying to give, show you what we were fishing with, that kind of thing. Uh, anyway, we're heading back to the park. I'm going to walk across, get my truck and bring it over, and then we'll load up. But we had a great day, beautiful day. It's about 2.30, and we've been out since uh, sunrise. So uh, it's time to go in. We're going to come back out tomorrow and try to make another video. So there's another one coming up soon. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and like. The likes really help me. Please don't forget the likes. And uh, I'll see you next time.